Alright guys, so this is Crane Train. Uh, I've actually gotten a lot of requests in regards to this. As far as new players that want to play Toraba, don't really know what to do when they start, we're going to go ahead and give you just a quick run over of what goes on. So first off, you have to download the app, whether it be the Apple Play Store or Google Play, whatever you need to do. Uh, I highly recommend downloading the app. The reason being is when you do the app, you'll get five free plays for your new account. Uh, this is because it recognizes a new device and a new account. So you cannot make, you cannot use the same device and make multiple accounts and get five free plays all you want. Um, there are things like multi-accounting out there, but uh, we'll discuss that uh, in another video. I'll discuss that in detail uh, specifically how that's done and everything but I also want you guys to be aware that is technically against the terms of service because you're basically playing for free so uh, just keep that kind of information in mind and uh, also keep in mind they can detect that kind of information and they will uh, withhold your prizes and so on and so forth and ban your account Obviously, there's ways around that, but let's just roll right into this. So with Toraba, I'm going to be using BlueStacks, my uh, computer, to actually show you guys everything. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up Toraba. As you can see, there was a 2D version as well. I'll go over that in a separate video. So with Toraba, you get five free plays on a brand new account for a brand new device. That means you can have multiple people in the same house using the same address for shipments and that's totally fine uh, they may question it at some point just make sure if it happens to send in a dispute uh, when you get the first new account thing going on you're gonna see this introductory beginners guide quote unquote it is not the best so it doesn't really explain anything to you except for that you get five free plays alright guys so when you get this introductory, you're going to, you know, go through the typical next, 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 and most of you probably won't read anything in regards to it. Um, basically, you can charge TP. This tells you that you get one button that changes depending on what you're doing. Uh, you get a camera button as well as the prize information button. Um, this is all on the app. Let's go ahead and click next. This shows you basically a bunch of different ways that the prizes were displayed. This is, I think, actually one of the original ways that it was displayed. Definitely isn't displayed this now, and that's definitely an old prize right there. So, um, And then they do free shipping every seven days. So that means once you put in an order, uh, you have seven days, and then you'll get free shipping again. Also, this typically means that you'll have to wait seven days for your initial shipping. I will confirm that in just a moment here. Um, you can purchase TP. There's some extra benefits to that. There's now Torba Prime, which gives you 10,000 TP for like $3 every month, which is a pretty good bargain, to be honest with you. Um, but with them raising their prices on how everything is done, uh, it's not going to be as beneficial as it used to be. So let's go ahead and roll right into this. Uh, you obviously should read your terms of service and then accept. I've obviously gone through that. You'll pick a nickname. So we're just going to go ahead and roll with my current nickname. Uh, I am currently male last I checked, but we'll find out later. Who knows? Japan is currently where I am. So I will continue to pick Japan. Uh, we're going to do OK. And then it'll give you, you can play the first five times for free. Uh, select the machine you want to play, and let's begin. Now, as you can tell, this really didn't tell me almost anything about the game as I went through it. So, what we're going to do is we're kind of going to go over how this plays. Um, when you're playing this game you're going to have a different selection of prizes depending on what you're after, right? So the very first screen will be all. Um, at the top, you'll always have your banners for the different uh, things that are going on. And I'll kind of go into those into a separate video. Uh, you can select figures, plushies, miscellaneous goods. This can be anything from electronics to trash bins to 
uh, messenger bags, mats, so on and so forth, Kleenex box covers. I mean, it, there's just such a wide variety. Uh, apparel would be any kind of clothing, watches, um, any of that kind of stuff. And then toys would be anything that either is functional or would be considered a toy. So like RC cars are considered a toy. Sorry, I had to burp there. Um, the little roller coaster, Pikachu, all that kind of stuff, right? Roombas, any of those can be toys. By the way, do not go after these. They are all garbage. Uh, if you're going after one, you're going after it for the cute look of it. So it's using a very basic program. I'll kind of discuss prizes and their qualities at another time. So, and then limited. These will be anything that uh, is only appearing for a short period of time, as the name t implies there. So, um, you'll see prizes anywhere from 1500 TP to uh, 3000 TP, as well as they have a 15,000 TP prize, which is basically a one shot win for the most part. Um, I have actually seen someone fail, and that is very dis just horrible it's just horrible um the easy way to figure out how much this is is basically remove the final zero and change that comma to a period and that would be us dollars for you for the most part that would be if the japanese yen to us dollars exchange rate is one to one so um basically let's go ahead and select a prize and then we'll go over the hud for how you actually play um, there's a number of prizes, tons of different configurations. I don't have time to go into all of them in one shot. Um, let's go with Hello Kitty Warm Bread Cushion. Why not? Right? Uh, when you get in here, it asks if you would like to view the tutorial. I would highly recommend yes, even if it is garbage. So it'll open up the tutorial. And it'll tell you how to play this game in the most basic manner possible. So, obviously, in order to actually play, you should probably hit play this machine. I know it's very difficult, so try and wrap your mind around it, guys. Uh, once you do that, it will actually convert this button into a big circle, changing its function. Once you do that, it'll actually change to a start button. And this, once you press this, you will actually be charged your TP and then you will have to play whether or not you actually you win anything that's neither here nor there but once you hit start is when you are charged tp so once i would hit start in this instance with what the money ha is here i would lose 18 1800 tp um, this button will then convert into a different button and you will have 30 seconds to go from left to right or right to left and the camera, you can swap at any point in time whenever you need to kind of get a better grasp of what you're after. Um, as you can see here, it tells you, you know, it changes from uh, left to right or right to left to back to front. Or sorry, front to back. It'll always be back or front to back. That part of the button will never change. So, um... When you initially are waiting to hit start so you hit play this machine, you'll have a 90 second counter that tells you how long you have to actually hit start. So that's your time to decide whether or not to actually play. For each movement though, for left to right or right to left and then front to back, you only have 30 seconds. So that's a total of 60 seconds, roughly a minute at max to actually move the crane then it's got to go through its motions to actually try and win um you can pinch in like with any other app pretty much and pinch out to zoom that being said the camera quality is pretty low even though they're using twitch cameras and considering most of us will be in a different country playing this yeah i wouldn't expect too much that being said it never hurts to zoom in to look at if the plastic wrap is caught on a bar or any of that kind of thing um, even with the settings all the way maxed out, I can tell you that it will not be the best quality. I am playing this on a computer that's designed for gaming, so I hope that my quality is a little bit higher. Uh, would you like to view the tutorial again? Um, not sure, but if any of you have ever played Zelda and talked to the owl, I'm going to definitely say no. So, once you're in the game, you, can, you get five free plays. Um, you can adjust your settings, the master volume, the 
uh, basic music and then the sound effects as you like. You can turn on the quality or turn it off depending on how you want. And then the browser will open. This is specific to things like when you're opening your shopping cart or your shipping page or your play history, whether or not that will open. Um, you can always go back to that tutorial at any point in time that you guys want. So if you feel like you need a review for that, feel free to click that. Uh, this button will always swap between two angles. You only get two angles to view this, and that is it. When you hit this button for your prize information, uh, it will just display what prizes are available for win. This is usually if there's more than one variation for a prize. Um, as you can see, we have A and B here. Uh, I've seen up to eight variations of something. Uh, probably more depending on what it is. Usually it's keychains that do that kind of thing. All right, so if we're gonna go ahead and play this, I've got five free plays. I am not honestly expecting to win this. So let's just go ahead and give it a try. Um, what I want you guys to pay attention to is how bent are the claw tips? How long are the arms? What is the prize? And how do you think you're gonna approach this? These claws are kind of flimsy, so sometimes you can be like dead center here and then it'll still wrap around the prize itself, depending on how low it goes. Um, there's, there's a lot to cover and I'm going to go over that in more detail in other videos, but for now let's just cover the basics. There are a few moves that you guys need to be aware of. There's the lift, the push, the scoot, and let's see, is there anything else? There's, there's a few more advanced techniques, but let's stick with those three to start. So if I were to try and lift this prize, even if it goes down very far, it's probably not going to lift it because it's a very soft, I would say mink style uh, cushion. So it's just going to move off of the cushion itself and not win. Uh, it probably won't even move it very much unless I get it around the ear where the ear will get stuck on the claw tip a little bit. Uh, scooting is typically what you're going to see is the most common tactic involved with two bars and one prize. So let's go ahead and try and scoot this side. That's kind of a little bit more off of the bars itself with the left claw arm itself. Now in order to do this, I'm going to offset the claw itself to the right and use the left arm's closing power to try and move the prize to the right. So let's give it a shot, guys. As you see, I got 90 seconds to decide whether or not I want to use any of my free plays. So we're going to go ahead and hit start. I now have 30 seconds to actually move to the right. Make sure when you're pressing this button, you press and you hold. Do not let go until you are ready for the crane to stop at the position it's at. So we're going to go ahead and press. I'm holding it, holding it, let go. Now it automatically changes the camera view to be the forward to back movement. So now I'm gonna press and hold, and we're gonna stop it right there. As you can see, it opens up pretty wide. It got stuck on the prize a little bit, so very little movement. And then when it gets all the way raised up, it's gonna open again. This I would expect out of any crane on Toraba. So don't think that just because you lift a prize, you automatically win it. It also tells me I have four more prizes to win, or four more plays to play. So we're going to go ahead and try again. We're going to go to the right, a little less this time. Go back. And keep in mind, these bars are wrapped in a dual-sided sticky tape. So it's very difficult for the prize to move sometimes. Um, it also looks like the tag for it being the A prize is hanging off. That could get caught and cause me other issues. If you, for whatever reason, at any point in this, think that there's lag that caused the crane to go fall, full on right or full on back, and or any of that kind of thing, or the camera didn't adjust or didn't even display that the crane was moving, feel free to submit an inquiry, and we'll go over that after I'm done with this. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit start again. I got a little bit of movement out of that one. We're going to try going farther to the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go behind the other side of the bar. That may have been too far back. We'll find out and see if we can't move the prize that way. Yeah, that was a little bit too far back. It's no big deal. So that's three of my five plays.
Also, when you're viewing the side, just for uh, review or watching, it'll automatically reset to the front view at the end of it when it's ready to play again. So let's go ahead and try again. We're going to go back. And I'm going to try and kind of land it on the bar itself. There we go. All right. Not very much movement. Very weak claw. This is very typical. Um, and it's very hard for plushies like this to move very much. Um, what I'm going to do is one last ditch effort. And we're going to go after that ear there. And try and pull it to the left. So... Alrighty. Now, another tactic, and this was something I learned later on. You can let the timer run out, and then it will automatically lower. If the prize is all the way out here, I highly recommend attempting that. Um, I've won over 10 floating Kirby plushies that way, using that tactic. Alrighty. And then we're going to lower. It got pegged on the bar. Alright. No win. Not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. Now, what a lot of people may not be aware of is these five free plays will continue on on things such as uh, Torba 2D until you actually win a prize. But again, I'll discuss that in another video. So, let's f say, for instance, that this was too weak for me to actually win, and or I had a computer error or camera glitch or the claw closed before it hit the prize, any of that kind of information, then I would want to submit an inquiry. Then you kind of want to go ahead and do, go ahead and hit that button in the bottom right, or if you're on a phone, it may be in the upper right. It'll be the uh, cog button. And what you're going to do is go to account services, I believe it is. All right, so once you're in here, right, you're going to go ahead and do ticket. Now, well, okay, this was not what I wanted, but this uh, did open up the window I need. So you'll go ahead and go up to here, go to menu, and you'll actually be able to review your play histories. So all five of my play histories are right here. I have the ability to view and download these as I like. So, sorry about that. So I went ahead and opened up the video. Uh, if you're on a normal phone or something along those lines, you'll actually get a little button in the bottom right hand corner that allows you to hit, uh, it's the three vertical dots and then hit download. And then you can save those videos, share them. Um, you can also directly upload them f to YouTube, so on and so forth. So... And this is a great tactic for reviewing how you approached a prize if you want to take a step back and kind of reevaluate what you did. Um, the other great thing about this is with the replay there, you can hit dispute one prizes, and then you can put in the information you need if, let's say, the claw glitched, it did not open, or it closed before it hit the, the actual prize. Um, you'll want to hit, you know, whatever provider you have. Others is typically normal. Um, and then put a description in here. Feel free to put it in English. Don't use Google Translate. They have English translators there. They have translators for all languages actually there. Um, and then you'll hit confirm and then send the report in. It can take a lot of time for them to reply. I've been upwards of a month or two and still not received a reply for some things. And you may not even receive a reply depending on the uh, type of inquiry you sent. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, always make sure to put in your language. Um, and just keep in mind, prize confirmations will get the fastest response time since they want to get that table reset and confirm whether or not you won the prize. Uh, bugs and gameplay issues are second, and then payment issues third. They've, they've pretty much got them in order of how they will be handled. Other would be anything like shipping or something along those lines. Um, that's all I'm going to cover for this very basic information video. So I hope this was useful for you guys. Um, there's one more thing I really want to discuss for this, and that's... Um, Let's go ahead and go back into a prize real quick. So we're going to go back to this prize. 
Obviously, I don't have enough TP. But if I were to approach this and wanted to, you know, have more time while I was reevaluating was what I was attempting on this prize, I can hit charge TP and it'll give me five minutes to either purchase TP or go ahead and make another play. So that's five whole minutes of thinking time that you can buy yourself or time that you can use to cool down if you're getting frustrated with a prize, any of that kind of thing. Um, when you're hitting charge TP, also keep in mind that there's different ways that you can pay. So if you're using Android, it'll typically be Google Play, whatever you have registered as your default payment for that. Um, you will be able to select different payments such as PayPal and so on. Uh, same with Apple Pay. Uh, just really keep that in mind. And then I will cover this in a completely separate video, but I do want you to be aware there are ways to earn free TP. If you hit click earn free TP, there's a bunch of ways to earn free TP. Keep in mind most of these big ones that you see at the top here are going to entail you getting deep into a game such as like Lords Mobile requiring you getting to, I don't know, level 25 uh, castle and such. And that's definitely going to be a bit of a pain in the butt, but that is a lot of TP, a lot of free TP. That's about $34, that's about $13, so on and so forth. So. I will go more into detail into this at a later point in time. Make sure you're only attempting one offer at a time. Do not attempt multiple offers or you will ne not get credit for anything. Uh, I found that out the hard way after getting to, I think it was castle level 16 and realizing that I had clicked another offer. So just something to really keep in mind, guys. I hope this was useful to you. I will do more if you guys want. Uh, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If I get enough questions, I'll just make a whole nother video in regards to it. And I'll see you guys next time on Crane Train.